Welcome to Home Buyer's School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. So before we begin, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips on home buying, click the subscribe button below, hit the little bell so you don't miss anything. Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Home Buyer School. Today I'm joined by Mushtaba Syed, a mobile mortgage specialist with TD Canada Trust. And today the question we're going to answer is, when should I get pre-approved for a mortgage? So Mo, take it away. When should I get yeah, pre-approved? Absolutely, Carl. So the best, the best time to get pre-approved for a mortgage is technically when you're shopping around. You want to do it ideally before you're shopping around so you can get an idea of exactly how much you can afford, what your monthly payments are, mm-hmm. what your monthly obligations are. You want to make sure that it's comfortable for you, that it fits in your monthly budget that you've kind of set for yourself. So definitely you want to be able to do that before the shopping part. And so how far in advance before buying a, buying a home? So technically, it could be the day you decide to go shopping, the day prior. There's no really set rule or time, but ideally, we want it to be the first step. We want it to be the first step is to get pre-approved for a mortgage Mm -hmm. before you start shopping around uh, so you can have a better idea, right? It could factor into different areas in the city you might want to be able to move Mm to, students to... different styles of homes mm-hmm. that you're looking into. It could, it could change a lot of different things. So obviously we definitely, definitely want to be able to get pre-approved before we even step into that market or speak to a real estate agent or, or anything of that sort. Great. So when you are, let's say, pre-approved, how long does that last? Does that actually expire? You know, that's a great question. So uh, a pre-approval lasts for three months. Uh, and after three months, it expires. But if you're ready, if you're if you feel like three months is not a long enough time period for you, we can always, always just reapprove you, pre-approve okay. you as long as situation hasn't changed for you financially. We could keep that pre-approval going as long as possible. Uh, some things might change in that time. Rates might change. They might go up. They might go down. Mm-hmm. The other reason why I think a pre-approval is such a great thing to do is because if rates are good right now, it locks in that rate for you. Even though the pre-approval is for three months, we can hold the rate for you for four months. So in a, in a very competitive interest rate market, we want to get a pre-approval just to maybe hold that rate, even though you might be two months away you might be a month away from finding a house. We want to be able to get that interest rate locked in for you so you can actually benefit from it. But what happens if uh, after those three or four months that um, things change, maybe not for you, but um, but just situations change, you can't really, like, the next step would be, let's say the rate, you're just locked into another rate, right, after the next three months. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Yeah, so the way it works is that if situations have changed for you, even on a personal level, uh, we will reassess it once again, like I said. Our pre-approval is important because we look at everything. We look at your situation, we look mm-hmm. at the market situation, we look at the interest rate situation, and let's say from the first time you got pre-approved to the second time things have changed, we will reassess it at that time. And once again, talk about what works best for you. You might change your amounts. Uh, you might get pre-approved for more. You get mm-hmm. might get pre-approved for less. But that's a, that's a very important discussion to have during that process. But it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing, if you get pre-approved, we don't want you to rush and find a house within those three months. Our pre-approved can always be extended. Uh, your situation might have changed, but we can always change the situation to kind of meet your needs and have a little bit more of like a real discussion with you. So never feel rushed that you need to buy just because you feel like your pre-approval is expiring. And how many times can I get pre-approved? As many times as you want. Uh, okay. Technically, until you're ready to purchase, right? Like once again, we want this to be uh, a very enjoyable experience. We want we want you to be able to find your perfect dream home. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer mm-hmm. to get that dream home. We don't want you to feel rushed. We don't want you to feel that you were forced into a situation or something. It is going to be your ideal home. Uh, It's going to be one of the biggest purchases in your life that we really do. One of the biggest investments you're going to get into. We definitely want to make sure you find the absolute best uh, for yourself. Does does the amount of times that you get pre-approved, does that affect your credit score? It really just depends on how the bank is doing it. So mm-hmm. sometimes when you get pre-approved for a mortgage, some banks might do a soft credit check. Just means that uh, they're just doing an inquiry. 
Uh, some banks might do a hard inquiry, which just means that they're actually applying for a mortgage. Mm. So in each situation, if you're applying, uh, it could affect how many times you're applying with different banks. But ideally, if you're with the same bank, it shouldn't affect uh, your score that much. Every time a lender or a bank uh, looks at your credit bureau, they actually hold it for 90 days. And after oh. the 90 days, uh, they might need to do another one or they might choose to keep the same one. It really mm -hmm. just depends on situation to situation and lender to lender. Perfect. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, I think, no, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, a pre-approval is very important. Uh, and like I said, just get out there, get pre-approved and feel confident in knowing how much you're pre-approved for. Well, thank you very much, Mo. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. That's another edition of Home Buyer School. Tune in next time for more expert tips and tricks. And visit homebuyerschool.ca to bring you one step closer to finding your dream home. As with everything, it would be great if you like and share our videos. Also, please let us know if you have any home buying questions you want us to answer.